my official wake up time with the Ultra. It's pretty loud. Come on, wake up. Wonder what would happen if I click snooze. How long is this going to play? About that long, I guess. Up. Oh. Why is it still playing? Wait, now it's playing on my phone? Okay, I really thought I was losing it. <laughs> I forgot that I still have the Apple Watch 6. So I thought the music was playing from the Ultra and then I picked up my iPhone and no, it was playing from this one. So Apple didn't realize that I had two watches. Oh, now it's saying, oh, do you want to turn off the alarm? Yes, yes, turn off alarm. It looks like you have two watches. You would, no, it doesn't say that. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It looks like you're awake. Would you like to turn off your alarm? Yes, turn off. Good morning. Okay, 24% and this wasn't used much at all. Let's take a look at the old battery health. This is depressing. Last charge to 100% on Friday. Battery health, 83%. Oh, that's sad. 75%, nice. Scroll on down. This is one thing that you can't falsify. If you charge this at all, it will let us know. Last charge to 100% Friday. 1521 or 3:21 in the afternoon battery health there we go 100 wow there's a lot of stuff built in dynamic software and hardware systems help uh, counter performance impacts that may be noticed as your apple watch battery chemically ages okay that's fun stuff how many steps do i have how far have i walked today How did I sleep last night? Interesting question. Show me my sleep rings. Sorry, something went wrong. Auto sleep says, I am confused. <laughs> okay, let's just open up the app. So that was my sleep goal. Bedtime. No, just show me my sleep. Ah, there we go. But it's not letting me look at it. Let's see if auto sleep worked last night, because auto sleep has been a bit wonky as of late. Redness, use breathe, lights off. Hmm, seems to be broken. Bummer. Does this one work? Yep. And then if I open up the Apple Health Heart app, there it is. Blip. Current heart rate while filming a video is... Wait for it. 81, all right. Resting heart rate, has not configured that yet. Walking heart rate, today. Breathe rate, breathe rate, nice. Just another Apple Watch, but bigger, with longer battery, sapphire screen, and more stuff. I need to get moving. Yeah, work on those rings. When you have two Apple Watches, oh, my wife's gone. Wait, it's con. Okay, uh, funny thing, I'm trying to talk to my wife on my new Apple Watch, but the alarm is going off in the background. You do you hear the alarm, Sasha? Oh, there we go. It stopped. I hear something that resembles like a heartbeat or a baby's heartbeat. Yeah, and um, now the alarm is going to go off again. Oh, now the alarm is going off yeah. again. 
<laughs> oh, you know what? Hang on. I think if I switch the phone call, okay, I can stop the alarm on my phone. There we go. Now it's off. Wow, that was yeah, confusing. I hear it anymore. So make sure you have your phone nearby when you buy the new Apple Watch Ultra. Okay, sorry about that. Everyone keeps on saying online that Apple is killing Garmin. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's, it's not even, no, no, that's not true. Let me show you and tell you 11 reasons why they're all baked. Okay, reason number one, the screens. All right, they're both sapphire now, so that's, okay, that's a tie. Number two, AOD always on display. This one you have to turn off, and man, it is, does it suck the battery. Garmin, it's always on. Number three, screen size. Well, that's going to be your personal preference, right? Number four, build quality. You know, I must say, the build quality on this one is a lot more rugged. And yes, you can answer phone calls. Hang on a second. So yeah, it's cool that you can answer phone calls on it and all that fun stuff. Let me shed the Garmin here. Which one weighs more? Hmm, we'll find out in just a minute. All right. So build quality, Dad, I would... Definitely go on record and saying this Phoenix is going to last a lot longer than the Ultra. Okay, number five, workout details. Garmin wins. Let me show you an example of the details you get. Okay, sleep tracking. They both track sleep. See right there? Sleep, get a sleep score, give your deep sleep, REM, all that wake time fun stuff. Very cool. And then on Apple... You have to browse through, go to sleep. Ah, there we go. There's my sleep stages. No sleep score yet, but pretty cool. Apple's getting there. They just barely started, whereas Garmin has been sleeping for quite some time. And it says that I did not get enough RAM. Bummer. You slept long enough, but your amount of RAM, yeah. Save it. Okay. Number seven, nap tracking. Okay, as smart as Garmin is, they have yet to be able to track naps. They used to be able to do it, and then they stopped. Apple, yes, they track naps. I just realized I have Apple here. Okay, now we're back to the right order. Okay, number eight, Siri. How much did I sleep last night? Okay, Siri's not perfect, but you can ask you can ask her lots of questions. So the AI is pretty cool. This does not ha have AI, but Garmin does make watches that have it, but they're not as good as good as Siri. Okay, number nine, the style. This is going to be a personal preference. I prefer the circular watches, to be honest, but I've grown accustomed to the Apple Watch just because it's so smart. So, uh, but the style, I prefer circular. Okay, number 10, smart features. They're both smart watches. Is, is, uh, even if you've never worn a Garmin, if you look at the specs, it's a very smart watch, but Apple is smarter overall. However, when it comes to fitness and notifications, uh, they're, they're pretty close. Fitness, definitely smarter. Better workout details, as you saw. Yeah. Okay, lastly, the big one. Number 11, battery life. See that? Apple. Oh, I just realized now we're switching again. Sorry. So on the left is Garmin, and on the right is Apple. Maybe I'll reshoot this video. This one will last for 34 days. I just charged it yesterday. It's at 96%. It was charged almost 24 hours ago. I have 25 days left, even with all these tweets and notifications I'm going to get. This one was fully charged not quite 24 hours ago, 
Battery life is at 69%. It should last me the rest of Saturday and throughout Sunday. And then I'm going to have to charge it Monday morning. I'm not going to have to charge this watch until October. If I get lots of sun, I could make this last until Halloween. So there you go. Is Apple killing Garmin? No. No, they're not. Is Thanks it a for watching. Video? Is it a oh hang on a second? We have a guest. Okay. Hi TPK. How is, you doing? Uh, yes, hey dad, is it a sponsored video? So the answer would be no. Apple and Garmin are gonna watch this at the same time you and I do. Does Apple and Garmin monetize this video? Uh YouTube is gonna monetize it, but that's about it. Well, thank you so much for watching, and yes, let the credits roll for the Paramount Kid. This this guy right here. And we're going to end this with the better watch. I mean, really, if this had AI, it would kill Apple. Anything else we want to say? Goodbye. Goodbye.